Hi everyone, this is Bronislava for Handmade Rukodielki <laughs> and this is my crazy cat hat uh, that I have created for uh, anyone to go and uh, crochet if you want. You can take it skiing, you can take it to parade, Halloween, you can take it wherever you want. You can even go and march in Washington DC if you want to. And I am here with Yoda and my Yoda is getting old. But I will tell you something, Yoda does not like cats, does not like cats, but he doesn't mind me being a cat. Right Yoda? Right baby? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's go and crochet. Let me talk a little bit before we start crocheting. Uh, you see this hat is made from number four uh, weight yarn. Uh, actually, I used uh, Red Heart uh, Super Saver yarn that I had left over here. And actually, they really don't make this uh, yarn anymore, I don't think so. I think they make it with a different color. This is brown, but they make it with green. Um, anyway, so... Uh, and this, um, this hat is actually for an adult, okay? And then I started for someone, I had a request to make uh, a hat for a little girl uh, and her circumference is um, 19. This is for uh, circumference 21, this, this hat, okay? And this one is smaller. Uh, and also this hat for the little girl is thinner yarn. It's number three weight, okay? However, uh, I am using same hook on both of these, which is uh, 3.75. And this one is very, you know, it's much softer and this is like really stiff and holds the, holds the uh, form very well, all right? Um, and also it's denser this one is denser and this hat is not as dense it's much softer and airier okay so you may choose yarn you know how you want it or whatever um, you know according to your needs or the person's needs and also it's very interesting that this hat is actually going to be smaller two inches right and this one is bigger uh, and even that I used this hook, same hook, I started on 10 stitches uh, and over here I started on 12 stitches, okay? So uh, it really depends on the material and the hook, um, how you will proceed. And I already have on my blog a uh, pattern for this one, okay? So we will start with magic circle. Right, and we will make three, uh, three chain. Okay, and now I will work with ten stitches. So this counts as one DC, and I will make uh, nine more DCs. That will be all together with this one. It's going to be ten stitches. Okay, so make ten double crochet stitches or in other words nine double crochet stitches plus three chain and this is my ninth stitch I tightened up my uh, magic circle left a little space in there and now we can really tighten it up okay and I will go into my third chain stitch. So count one, two, three, and connect it together. And I like to do it this way here, like this. I like to go under both, both yarns there, okay? And here you have that back over there. So we will go and pull the yarn through and make a slip stitch to join it. Okay, and now I actually want to also tell you, show you something. Hold on one second. Over here, when I was working with this, I was making chain three in the beginning of each row. 
chain three okay chain three you see it this is all chain three right here okay all these rows have chain three but over here I made that elongated this is not chain three only in the first row but this is not chain three you see this actually is a elongated double crochet stitch I started with double crochet stitch let me show you how to do that so what you do is you bring this after you go and do your uh, slip stitch you bring the yarn up to about height of your double crochet stitch okay yarn over and then you will go into the same stitch over here and you will make a double crochet stitch so you will go through one two loops okay and then you will have two more loops to go through and you will go through two more loops one more time so you see right in here is that one that that long um, long stitch long uh, loop that we started with and this kind of makes it that it's not so there is no hole big hole in there okay and this counts actually for one stitch so you can actually start with double crochet stitch instead of chain stitches and in the second row what we need to do is we need to do into each stitch we need to do two double crochet stitches so I made one and I will make one more in there okay and now I will make two double crochet stitches in this stitch two double crochet in the next one two double crochet here and continue like that and you can do the same okay and when I am finished so this is one and two and when I'm finished we will uh, I will show you how to do the uh, slip stitch in the uh, first double crochet over here and then we will work on the third row okay so I finish with uh, my two double crochet stitches in each stitch from previous row okay and now we will join so this long one when I was showing you that's the one that we will use for uh, joining uh, into the circle okay and now we will make our third row and the third we will do we, I will use this stitch double crochet stitch in the beginning again so yarn over and then we go into here see in there okay and you will make one stitch here and in the next one we will make two double crochet stitches so one in first two in second one in first two in second and it will alternate like this okay so here we will make two double crochet stitches and here again one and two two in this one one and two and again repeat one and two one and two and again repeat okay and continue like this all the way to the end so basically what you are going to have is in the first row you will have 10 stitches in the second row you will have 20 stitches in the third row you will have 30 stitches okay then we will go and work on a fourth row and in fourth row you will have to have 40 stitches all right and as you see this is also kind of thick I'm using again the same hook uh, 3.75 like I used on my two previous ones and this one is actually uh, softer number four weight yarn so it will actually uh, f uh, uh, have the form 
it will keep the form it's gonna be stiffer but it's not gonna be as rough uh, while wearing it all right and uh, here we are coming to the end and you should end up with one in here and in this stitch too and then you should count all your stitches if you really have 30 stitches and we will connect it into this long beginning of the row okay this long loop we'll connect it with a nice and tight slip stitch okay and again we're ready for our fourth row and uh, you know I don't I, I like it nice and round so now what I'm going to do is instead of doing one one and then two one one two I will start with two okay so I will do two in first stitch and then one one two in uh, and then repeat two in first stitch and then one 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 double crochet one double crochet okay so we will do two double crochet stitches here in the beginning where we have that uh, space over here between you know between that loop and the double crochet all right but you see how it is uh, uh, not you don't have that hole there from those uh, three uh, chain stitches it's more it's more you know I, I feel it like it's a little bit better it looks a little better that's how I feel okay so we will make first double crochet stitch in this space right here and one more okay right there between that long loop and the double crochet like over here we did long loop and then that double crochet all right okay so we have two in here and then we need to do one here one in the next one only one not two only one okay and one more double crochet stitch right here and this is our repeat okay so we will do again two one one okay so two double crochet stitches one and two double crochet stitches and now we will do one stitch and one stitch in a third one in a third stitch all right so because we're working with three stitches but we three stitches but we are making four out of those three okay and we will repeat this all around so I have last three stitches and I have to do again two in first stitch of my repeat one and two and one here and one here and I have 40 stitches and now we will connect it join it so again we will go right in that stitch right here that loop nice and tight and now we will be working with um, four stitches and we will be making five stitches out of it so we should go and have in fifth row 50 stitches all together total when we're finished okay so we will be doing one 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 and then two okay so let's do one here so that's our first double crochet stitch this is second in the next one third in the next one third in a third stitch so first stitch in the first first double crochet in the first stitch second double crochet in second stitch from previous row third double crochet stitch in a third and in fourth we will do four and five okay so this is going to be four and one more which is going to be our fifth and that's going to be our repeat all right so again one 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 and two in the fourth okay so you do that and then when you're finished you can join okay 
so I made my three stitches right now one two and three one in each and now we will make two in our fourth stitch which is our repeat okay okay here we are at the end so I will make one one in the next and one more in the next which is three my three uh, double crochet stitches one in each of the stitch and now four and five are gonna be in the same stitch four and five is that's one two three four five those were my repeat okay and we will join join with that long loop okay I will now start with um, double two two double crochet stitches in the same stitch okay so we will make first double crochet stitch in the, in our first stitch here and and we will work one more in the same stitch and now we need to make four stitches one in each stitch one double crochet stitch in four consecutive stitches okay so one 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 and one so this is one two three and four and that's our six stitches all right so that's our repeat so our repeat is gonna be two in one stitch and then one 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 in each stitch so we will have to do two double crochet stitches in this stitch one and two and now we will make four stitches and in one in each stitch okay so here is gonna be one and next stitch is two next stitch is three and the next stitch is four okay and repeat again two and then one 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 and one okay and this is my last repeat so I did two stitches in here and I have to go and make one stitch in each four consecutive stitches and then we will join it join into the circle okay and now how do we count uh, circumference circumference is counted this way we measure all across uh, this um, circle okay from you have to be in the middle so from one end to another and I have six inches over here and then we need to multiply it by so-called Greek letter pi and pi is 3.14 okay so we will go and multiply six times 3.14 and that will give us 18.84 uh, inches so that is going to be a circumference so our circumference is going to be about 19 inches a little bit less than 19 inches okay and actually i was thinking that i will make it for a child but you know what i have enough yarn i was afraid i might not have enough yarn but i will have enough yarn to make it for another adult so uh, i will go and make one more row and I will um, uh, basically I will have about seven inches across times 3.14 so it's gonna be almost 22 inches uh, circumference okay in our seventh row we will uh, continue as such we will crochet one double crochet stitch in five consecutive stitches 
and then one, one, two, this will be our one, two, three, four, five, and in the sixth one, we will uh, crochet two double crochet stitches, and then we will repeat. So we will make one double crochet stitch, in the next one two double crochet stitch, second one, and third in a third stitch, and four, and five in the next one, okay? So we have five double crochet stitches uh, distributed among five stitches from previous row, and now we will make two double crochet stitches into sixth stitch from previous row. So this is one and in the same one two. And this is a this is our repeat. Now we will do the same all the way to the end. Okay, so five double crochet stitches and then two double crochet stitches in a sixth stitch. So continue like this to the end and then we will uh, crochet several rows just one double crochet stitch in each stitch and two double crochet stitches here so I finished my last repeat over here all around you know, uh, 10 times, right? 10 times same repeat. And now we are ready to join and start our eighth row. And actually, uh, eighth row is going to be uh, done, like I said before, we will go and uh, crochet one single crochet into each stitch. Okay, so there will be no increases, no decreases, just one double crochet stitch in each stitch and we will do this seven rows because I have it over here I have seven rows from where uh, I stopped increasing okay so do seven rows of just double crochet stitches uh, all around so when you're finished with this row you join and then you start your ninth row and then you join and again and you do that seven rows okay one double crochet stitch in each stitch so you see I am almost finished with my eighth row over here I have last two double crochet stitches that I have to make and then I join See, I just join and then continue with my ninth row, okay, and just continue like that. All right, so that was my first um, double crochet stitch, and now I will go and make each one double crochet stitch into each stitch from previous row, okay, so. Um, since I did one row like that, now I have to do uh, six more rows, okay? So I am finished with my seven rows over here, okay? And what we will do now is we will crochet 50 stitches. And we will not touch these 20 stitches right here. And that's how we will create our eye opening. Let me go and show you. So basically we are right here. And this, this is the row that we're going to start crocheting. And we will go crochet all the way to here. And then we will go and return back and crochet back to here. Okay? So that's what we will do now in this part. So just crochet 50 double crochet stitches. And in my blog, actually, I, you know, I used my chain 3, right? You know chain three here in this part so what um, so it's written differently but right now so you would either create 
uh, or crochet uh, chain three or or uh, and then 49 double crochet stitches or um, 50 double crochet stitches because I crochet this one as double crochet stitch not as a chain three right so crochet 50 double crochet stitches so I'm finished with my 50 double crochet stitches I have 20 stitches that I didn't crochet okay and we will turn around and crochet on a wrong side another 50 crochet stitches and if you're using um, chain 3 then you will do chain 3 and 49 double crochet stitches okay so yarn over in my case and we will make first double crochet stitch and now I, I will crochet 49 more double crochet stitches to the end okay here we are again I am making my last three stitches here and I will have as soon as I finish this this is my last stitch right here uh, as soon as I finish here I finished two rows okay and now we will make uh, the, we will close the opening for the eyes with the chain stitches so I'm right here and now I will make 26 chain stitches and then connect it over here to this row okay and then we will continue working on this part um, two more rows so we will basically finish the row with uh, 26 chain stitches which will be altogether 76 stitches in this in this row all right so make uh, 26 chain stitches so I finished my uh, 26 uh, chain stitches and make sure that you do not twist these chain stitches okay and connect it carefully okay just like you go you can go and put your thumb on it and just go like this just to make sure that it's nice and flat and straight okay and connect it to this stitch here with a slip stitch okay so it looks like this because we were working on the wrong side we will turn around so we can go and work on the right side okay so we need to make it right here into this one where we uh, attached it okay where we made that slip stitch and the easiest thing probably is going to be to go into here into that spot right there so let's go and make a double crochet stitch right there all right and now we will make 25 more uh, double crochet stitches and the way I will do it is that I don't go to this top uh, yarn right there because I feel that I will make a, a kind of like a big hole I go actually into here right there below those two yarns you could also do it that you would go into this one and then this one but it's so much harder to do it you know you see so I just go right be you know right below those two lines and above this one in here when I am making my double crochet stitches into the chain stitches okay and you see so we we did it above this line so we need to go above this second line right there so I'll put my hook right there okay and you need to make so we did it right here you see it so our next one will be this line right here okay and just continue like this all the way to the end 
so this is my next one right here go slow and um, if you don't know how to do it go slow and always check you don't have to rush this you know you can go and um, speed up later on when uh, when you're working on the regular row okay and when I'm finished with this this is done so I have to go right here so when I'm finished with this um, these chain stitches right here and I have all my double crochet stitches I will just continue with my double crochet stitches all the way to the end here and I will join okay so here I am finishing my uh, chain stitches okay I mean you know double crochet stitches along the chain stitches and this is my last one okay and like I said before I will be continuing um, crocheting along my 50 stitches from previous row so just do E one double crochet stitch one double crochet stitch in each stitch from previous row and when you are finished you should have 76 double crochet stitches in this row okay so starting from here you will have 76 double crochet stitches all around All right, I'm almost finished. And we will join it into this last stitch. Or, you know, the fir uh, not last stitch, but first um, double crochet stitch. And we will make one more row crocheting one double crochet stitch in each stitch, okay? So, which we will end up with this part okay so this is where I am right now I am right here and I will crochet this one more row all around so we will make double crochet stitch or chain three uh, chain stitches either one okay and just uh, crochet each double crochet stitch into one of the stitches from previous row one double crochet stitch at a time all right let's go and finish this row this is it my last three double crochet stitches join it okay one more knot or chain stitch actually right but it's a knot and now we're gonna cut this yarn off and we will uh, later on we will weave it in and now our next step is to crochet the divide here but we have to go and determine where is our middle okay since we have 20 stitches in here and my divide is going to be 4 stitches here in the middle then 20 minus 4 is 16 and divided by 2 because we have two sides it's going to be 8 so we need to count 8 stitches here and insert our hook into 9th stitch alright so here and we're working actually on the top part this is the this is the way the hat goes onto the head right so this is the uh, uh, p this part is right by the um, eyebrows okay so this is where we will start we will count now eight stitches one two three four five six seven eight and we will insert our hook in into our ninth stitch and we will make uh, actually chain three one two three I grabbed both yarns 
and I don't have to weave this end anymore I just cut it off okay and also I want to say one more thing and that is that over here I made half double crochet stitches and I made three rows one two and three okay three rows of half double crochet stitches but in this video I will make two double crochet uh, rows okay so this that's why I started with three chain stitches which represents one double crochet stitch and I will make three more stitches three more double crochet stitches okay so this is going to be my first that's one two and this is my third which is four all together okay one two three four and now if you count you should have eight stitches over here one two three four five six seven eight okay now we will turn around and we will make you can either make three chain stitches or uh, double crochet stitch but I will make double crochet stitch this time and three more double crochet stitches one two and one more right there in that third chain stitch now it's a little bit tough because I used two strings so just wiggle it in and make sure because this is our right side so make sure that you insert it in here in a nice way okay and that's it and I will make one more chain stitch or in other words I will make a um, um, knot and I will leave a longer yarn in here so we can sew this part we will sew okay, this is, we're gonna go and make it a little bit more square right and we will sew this part to here okay so take your needle sewing needle yarn needle now with the needle we will sew this part to the bottom and since we have 26 stitches in here and we need four stitches for these distribute among four stitches in here we will need actually 11 stitches here and 11 stitches in here okay 11 plus 11 is uh, 22 plus 4 is 26 so we will count 11 stitches and start sewing into 12 stitch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and this is going to be our 12 stitch right there this one okay and this is how we will do it I will go through both of these stitches I'll go through this one the first one and the 12th in here and then turn around and go through this stitch and the second stitch in here which is uh, this is 12 this is 13 stitch right and through this stitch then turn around okay, tighten it up a little bit then turn around and a third stitch here and 14 stitch in here And turn around and this is 15th stitch and fourth stitch of our uh, divide okay one more time and in in you know poke that needle through to go to the wrong side okay and then we will do the same thing over here uh, just to make sure that it will stay okay and we will weave in our um, our yarn. 
gently back and forth, okay, just to make sure. Good, and now we will just make one more knot over here, so it does not come apart. Okay, and now I will just weave it in here with my needle along this bottom over here. And now we will go and make uh, our nose and whiskers and then our ears. For our snout I'm going to use black yarn, black worsted yarn. I'm going to leave this end, this tail really long. That is going to be our whiskers, okay, when we will be attaching the snout, and we will start with magic circle, and I will make three chain, one, two, three, and now I will make 12 double, no, I will make 11 double crochet stitches, altogether 12 including this, okay, so 11 more double crochet stitches into the era or around the magic circle. So that's one, two, three, four. Now I have 11 uh, double crochet stitches plus three chain, and we will tighten up this yarn, this, you know, we will pull on it, we will join it with a slip stitch and one more chain stitch which is our uh, knot, okay, and we have our snout over here and again we will leave this second tail also long, really long for the whiskers, which is going to be whiskers on the other side, okay. And I will pull it, okay, and now this one is here on the edge, okay, this one is here in the middle, so I will just make sure that this one goes straight across, straight across from this one, that I will go and make a knot to go through this stitch here. And make an, and make you know make sure it, it stays there okay with a knot or chain stitch okay okay once you have it in your needle you place this circle right there in the right below the divide and this should be kind of uh, lined up with this line here and this one is going to be lined up with this this middle in here, okay, and we will first go in into the um, into the fabric and then come out, okay. This way we will attach it in the same spot where it's coming out, okay. Very good. Now we will go and make one, let's say, long one. We can go all the way over here. Go in. And go back out over here. And you can come out in the same spot or a little bit higher up. It doesn't matter wherever you want. And that's our first whisker. Don't make it too tight so it doesn't don't do this, okay? Make sure that it's uh, flat, not loose and not and not too uh, too tight. And I'm going to put one in here, oh here, and I will come out over here and pull on my yarn, make sure that it's not too tight and not too loose, and I will make one more whisker right here, ok, 
can choose how long your whiskers you want, okay? Okay, so those are our whiskers. And then we still want to go a little bit around the edge over here. Just in and out so it stays nice and flat, okay? Just around the edge of the nose. And then you can go and finish right here. Okay. This end looks like it's a little bit to the, you know, down, so I will uh, I guess I didn't do nice, um, nice job making sure that it's across. So what I will do is, I'll just go over here and in. Okay. So I'm kind of in the middle here, and I will come out again. And I will come out, just like this. Okay. And I will repeat these three whiskers on this side, okay? And when you have your whiskers the way you want them, okay, I've redone them, you see? Then you just finish a crochet, uh, crocheting, not crocheting, sewing. Sewing around, around this edge, okay? And here I am just finishing around the edge. Okay, we will be making ears over here, attaching them, so I'll show you how to do that. To make the cat ears, we need to start on 19 chain stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? Now I'm going to go and uh, connect it into circle, and I usually go and rub my thumb on the top of this um, chain so it does not, uh, it doesn't twirl, okay? And then we will take, so you see it's nice and flat, not twisted. And then we need to connect it into this first chain stitch. Okay, and now we will make a chain. And then we will make into each chain, we will, we will make one single crochet stitch. One single crochet stitch into each chain stitch. And count your stitches, so this is my third, okay, count your stitches, because we will want to have 18 stitches, 18 single crochet stitches, okay? So when you're done with that, I will show you what to do next. Seventeen and eighteen. Okay, so I have eighteen single crochet stitches and this is the, the slip stitch and this is the chain, so we will go into the chain right here, okay, and slip stitch it into that chain and make a chain stitch again and we will go and decrease in every row from now on, we will decrease in two places. We will decrease right here in the beginning and then in the middle. So, since we have uh, 18 stitches now, uh, we will turn these two first uh, single crochet stitches 
stitches into one stitch which means single crochet two together so we will go and make we will go and pull yarn through the first stitch pull yarn through the second stitch and crochet these two single crochets together okay now uh, so that's one two stitch so we still need to make seven more stitches okay we were working with two stitches okay now we need to make seven stitches single crochet stitches one two three four five six seven and now we will repeat okay again we will do first and second we will go and do single crochet two together okay so we will go and pull yarn through and go into the second one pull yarn through and make it into one stitch which is a decrease right and now we will we have to go and crochet another seven single crochet stitches to the end okay so this is one two three four six and seven okay now this was our slip stitch this is our chain stitch and we will slip stitch it into chain stitch right here okay make chain stitch again and we will repeat the same thing we will decrease in the first two stitches we'll make it into one now because we decreased by one stitch in the first repeat then we will go and crochet six single crochet stitches okay so first the decrease which we will turn into one stitch okay so I pulled yarn through two uh, two uh, stitches make it into one and now six stitches because we have one less so one single crochet stitches I'm talking about okay so that's one two three four five six now we will do repeat again we will do single crochet two together okay so these two single crochet stitches we will crochet together just like that okay and now we have six stitches here and we will uh, put one single crochet stitch into each of them that's two three four five six okay this is our slip stitch we skip that this is our uh, chain stitch we go into that make a slip stitch in there okay and again chain stitch and now we will do again the same thing except instead of six stitches over here we will do five because we have one less uh, single crochet stitch in first half and one less single crochet stitches in the second half okay so again single crochet two together so this is one and two and crochet them together now we have to do five stitches only five single crochet stitches so that's one two three four five 
now we will do the repeat again so that will be single crochet two together so this is one and two and pull through now again five single crochet stitches so that's one two three four five and again skip this this uh, slip stitch and make a slip stitch into the chain stitch okay and an, another chain chain stitch in a new row now we will do again single crochet two together and four in here okay so we're each time we're decreasing by one stitch and we do two repeats okay so that's my first single crochet two together and now we have to do four single crochet stitches so this is one two three four and it's getting narrower and narrower it's gonna be harder to hold but I'll, I'll show you what I do okay okay second repeat again single crochet two together and four stitches you see I'm always uh, always re reposition my crocheting okay I mean this this thing I I fold it in a different way okay and then I hold it right in there but it, that holding is going to change we will hold it soon we will hold it differently okay so this is one two three four okay now again we skip the slip stitch and make a slip stitch into our chain stitch from previous row okay and again chain stitch we will do you know refold it we will do single crochet two together again and and then three single crochet stitches this is one two three refold it single crochet two together yeah. okay and again three single crochet stitches And again we're going to go and skip the slip stitch and slip stitch it into the chain from previous row make chain and now we will do again single crochet two together and I kind of push this up a little bit so I can get in there and refold it and now I have to do here and here now I have to hold it like this so if you're holding it like I am because our fingers don't go in into the space anymore uh, push this back down so you don't crochet these two together okay those sides so uh, we did single crochet two together and now we have to do two single crochets one and look where you're going don't be afraid to move your um, wrists and elbows refold it do single crochet two together one and two and together and now oh did I do something wrong in here I have only one stitch in here something happened let me see yeah I skipped one I think yep I skipped stitch you see <laughs> okay so this is one and and uh, one more here one more here okay good now two and now single crochet two two of them 
So this is one. Hold on one second, I need to tighten this one up a little bit. Okay, so that's one single crochet and this is second single crochet. And again, join it. So uh, let me see, this is our slip stitch right there. And this is our chain stitch. And this is this row is going to be our last row. All right, I am not going to go and do a um, chain stitch. I will go directly into a single uh, crochet two together. Although you can go and make a chain chain stitch if you want. Uh, in my pattern, I had written. Um, that extra chain stitch in there. Well, I'll make it for you. So uh, you ladies and gentlemen don't don't get confused with my directions in here. Okay, so I did chain and now single crochet two together. Now one one chain one single crochet And now we will do single crochet two together again one and two and at this point it's getting really hard okay there I did it okay and we still could go and make one more um, single crochet but you know what I will do I will just close the, the this gap and this is how I will do it actually I go across in here into one and then into one more in here you choose your own uh, where you want to place it in two spots right there okay two stitches and all together let me see how it looks. It looks like an ear, right? And um, and I made an extra chain just to make sure that it has a knot. And now I will pull this pull this tail into the inside right here, and I will weave it in it in so it, it's kind of rounded on the on the tip you know it's not too pointy okay so this is our ear and now you just need to make one more and I'm going to weave it in here right away Okay, so this is it. This is our ear. Okay, and now I have to make another one. And you just replay the video and make another one as well. Okay, and then I will show you how to sew it onto the hat. I made a second ear. Okay, and actually I forgot to mention f uh, first that you need to leave this tail really long because we will use it for sewing this one is really short so I'll have to use another yarn it's really better if you make this tail long so you can sew it all around onto the hat okay so what you need to do now is fold your hat in half and uh, I kind of push because it's round, right? So it has the indentation over here, okay? And this one goes out. And uh, this actually is going to help me to place those ears slightly forward to the front. So they're not in the back, okay? And this, the second ear over here is going to be slightly forward also. And then we will go and pin them. And let me show you. So we will take first ear and I line up one of the edges 
well let's go and use this edge in the back okay so we will line up the this edge this edge with this edge okay and I usually do it um, sew it like in a third row so this is one two three so I place this tip over there okay this edge along this edge and then wherever this uh, tip reaches and I pin it with pin okay so let me okay just pin it with pin now it's best if you go and point the this tip uh, in the direction of the sewing so you don't if you go against it you will prick yourself okay and you don't want to do that so let me see okay so this is one two three and it reaches right there if you don't pin it very well what you need to do is repin it repin it okay so it's going to be pinned right here and when you pin it you just sew it all around and all right and then this one is going to reach kind of forward over here okay let's go and turn it so I don't poke myself here we can actually push these on the inside but you need to be careful not to sew the back this back okay to the front over here make sure I think I am I am pinned okay over here so when you have it pinned okay and now this is kind of crooked but as I'm I will be sewing I will be straightening it up out a little bit anyway so um, and I also um, cut a piece of yarn you know if this would be long enough I would use this tail for sewing it out but um, I didn't think so let's go and start like this here okay I have to find that No, right there. Okay, straight out. And I will pull this one in and then I will tie these two tails together. So I'm gonna just leave a little longer tail there and hold it in such way so you know that you're not sewing um, these two together. Okay, these this this one and this part you need to sew it to the ear so I will go in right around that edge of the ear I will go in and I will come out one of these one of these stitches edge of the stitch okay right like this let me go close a little bit there make sure let me see yes good okay I'm not I'm not grabbing any other piece of fabric you know hat that is not supposed to be there and we're gonna pull okay and again I will go now I can go and actually take this out because otherwise it's going to be in my way and it's holding in here so I don't really need my uh, pin anymore and I will go straight across over here so I will go right there and out at the edge here And 
and again I will go down in here and up making sure I'm not touch, you know grabbing anything else but just this and the ear just that one you know stitch okay and again right there if you you can go and kind of look if you're doing it right it has to go al along this edge right there so I'll go right at that edge below inside and out okay and you just continue sewing this all around and look let, let me show you this end is going to go to the inside of the hat not here here let's do it here inside of the hat and I will tie these two together that's what I have to do because I started with such a short tail okay I will make a knot over there and I'll just keep going around this edge and then continue going around this edge in here and it's it's about I would say half an inch half an inch wide over here okay it's not flat it's not too flat I have it a little bit spaced out here at the bottom okay and I'll show you when I'm all done I'll show you how it looks okay here I already started sewing my second ear and again I will be doing it like you know I folded my hat making sure that this distance is same as this distance okay and then I will sew along this edge first in the, on the back again and go around and making sure that I have about the same space here like I had over on this ear okay and also one more pointer before you go and sew uh, finish sewing your um, second ear is uh, before you cut your yarn off go and check in a mirror if they are symmetrical okay so um, let's go and start sewing over here make sure that I'm not grabbing something I'm not supposed to with my needle and I can go and take this one out now that pin and just keep sewing along this line okay I'm finished with my second one but I don't want to take it out yet because I might I might have to redo it so I'm going to check if those ears are actually symmetrical they look okay to me they look fairly symmetrical right okay so I'm going to go and check in the mirror so this is it today uh, that's the end of my video thank you so much for watching please spread the word about my channel and uh, I hope I will see you another time. Hey, baby. It's nothing.